Welcome back guys to another episode of Solar Advice, where we like to keep energy solutions simplified. So today we're gonna to talk about this uh, classic inverter, the off-grid inverter. Undoubtedly one of the best selling inverters in the market. And we're gonna answer the question today, are they still really worth it? So firstly, let's start off with some of the pros and cons of this type of inverter. Now the pros of this inverter, the first one I have to say is the affordability. They are a bit cheaper than the hybrid inverter. They also got a broad range, starting from a one kilowatt up to a hundred kilowatt. It's a great first step for those who want to scale over time. Ideal for those who are paying high connection fees for their electricity. These can sometimes be higher than the actual electricity bills themselves. It goes without saying that because it's an off-grid inverter, you don't need to be tied to the grid. So if you have no grid connection or the option of, then of course this is probably the only solution for you. Having personally owned one of these inverters, I can tell you from my experience, uh, some of the annoyances that I had with these off-grid inverters, is that the first thing was the noise. Although not the worst thing in the world, uh, just make sure that you mount it in a place where you can't hear it, because uh, mine was mounted in the garage, and every time I walked past it and it was working really hard, you can clearly hear those noisy fans. Another thing that I didn't like is that it didn't blend the energy sources together. Now, if you're in an off-grid scenario and you don't need this feature, then of course this is gonna be perfectly fine for you. Being a budget option inverter, the build quality isn't that of a hybrid inverter. It's not built in a die cast, but it's still well put together and it will get the job done. Before buying the, one of these types of inverters, there's a few things I would recommend watching out for. The first being bad sizing. Now, when you size your system, the idea is that you wanna go a little bit above what you need because this will prevent you overloading your system. Another thing that I highly recommend is finding yourself a very good reputable installer. I can't tell you how many times things can go wrong when you have a bad installation. In conclusion guys, there are pros and cons to this type of inverter. I hope this video will help you decide on whether they are worth it or not. If you have any questions about this inverter, please give us a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. The first being, uh, Sorry. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a like. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. <laughs> <laughs>